Co-Simulation in ANSYS HFSS. And in this section, we're going to detail co-simulation as a method of design. And by definition, the method of co-simulation is when two or more simulation types are performed to simulate a whole system. And you can have one simulation result fed into another simulation tool, sort of a cascaded scenario, a serial simulation. Or you can have a coupled simulation where the results between two tools are bi-directionally being pushed in and out of the tools, a dynamic linking back and forth. And the tools can be used within the same physics, such as electromagnetic simulation coupled with an electronic circuit simulation, or between physics, such as electromagnetics, thermal, and maybe perhaps mechanical for stress deformation. And this co-simulation method of combining simulation tools together can be performed on a wide variety of applications. For example, take 5G, 5G antenna applications. Antennas for 5G requires a high gain phased array. So electromagnetics is coupled with circuit simulation for phase matching or impedance matching, whether it's to the feed network or coupled to another signal trace. And this is to maximize the gain. Perhaps you want to consider heat from the other components or from the environment. This also impacts the antenna's performance. So adding a thermal or mechanical stress simulation may be required. And of course, a dynamic link is needed here. And for medical applications, a multi-element MRI development HFSS combined with circuit allows tuning of the MRI coils, which is needs to be tuned under the near field, whether it's the electric or magnetic field, and as well as the calculation of the SAR value. So adding components always affects the element design. So we can add a human body to the MRI design, and this will impact the tuning of the coils again. Again, requiring the elements, a, a bi-directional simulation between the electromagnetics and the circuit simulation. Okay, now that we know what co-simulation is, where can I use it? Let's take a look at the 5G phased array application. And with the proliferation of so many wireless devices, any connected device, all transmitting signals, that are being bounced around, being reflected, and interfering with each other. And the need for a controlled beam from the antenna, both in magnitude and phase, is necessary. And the beam will be formed by some radiating element driven by the electronics that feed that element. So an additional active devices will be used, such as amplifiers or phase shifters. And each driven component has its own load impedance. And as we all know, at every point or boundary, if there's a mismatch in the, in the impedance, it will distort the signal, hence reducing the gain. And to help eliminate this distortion, in order to design for maximum gain, we need to be sure that each component is matched to whatever other device it's attached to. So we need to consider in, impedance and load. The load can be from different elements or from a physical change of the element. That antenna probably needs to be attached to some small device, such as the sidewall of the smartphone. And the folding of this device can also create other parasitics. Let's take a look at this scenario. And in this module, we'll use HFSS as the EM simulation tool and HFSS circuit to match and tune that antenna element. We can use a simple planar patch antenna and bend it and fold it 90 degrees. And again, using HFSS electric magnetic simulation to design the antenna element, again, using the HFS circuit to design a matching circuit to include the modification of that physical layout, that bending. And this method of using the two tools of co-simulation will give you some quick insights for you to gather 
some information about what is going on in your model geometry. And perhaps the parasitics from the adjacent components are from the platform and what it's physically installed on. Thank you for watching this video and we welcome feedbacks and comments. Please go ahead and watch our other additional video modules that demonstrates our coupled co-simulation for antennas or any other 5G application.